Welcome to my art journey. This is Roger Snell. In today's painting, I'm working on a portrait of our granddaughter, Starlight. But what's special about this video is I'm not going to hide the failures and the struggles and the challenges of getting this right. So to get this right, I had to get it wrong in two different versions and paintings, and I'm going to show the failures. Uh, I think the greatest encouragement to any starting artist is to realize there are three steps to success and the first step is failure. Uh, that's how you learn. So the second step is progress and then the third is success. So what I'm about to show you is one of the ugliest starts to uh, a portrait. Uh, it just never worked from the beginning. So here's version one. And uh, I was working from a photo that I finally decided was a part of the problem. It just didn't have the right angle and kind of the perspective that made it difficult to paint. And so uh, in a matter of a few days, boom. I cover it up, and that's the beauty of oil paint. You can just go right over your mistakes, cover it up, and this is a complete new start. Uh, actually, it's the ending of the second version, and the head is just too round, and it's not right. It does not look like starlight. And so I'm about to abandon this second version, too. And finally arrive at the solution with version number three and I started with an entirely new canvas panel uh, to begin that work and I think the most important thing was to start with a photo that had really good contrast that has good lighting but also good shadows and so the difference between dark and light is uh, pretty noticeable and so there's the photo that I decided to work with I plugged it into the laptop I got my projector out and I think the old masters would not have regarded this as cheating they tried every tool and measurement they used grids and everything they could think of to get proportions exactly right so here I am projecting the photo onto the 9 by 12 panel and there I turn the projector off so you can see the pencil sketch and I know the proportions are perfect. I know everything is right. And there's still skill involved in the painting of it and the mixing of the oils and all of that. So I don't regard it as cheating. I regard it as overcoming two stunning failures and the third try getting off on the right track. So remember, this third try after two failures is not this lesson. If at first you don't succeed, give up. Instead, what I'm trying to show you is try, try, and try again. The, the, the three steps are failure, progress, success. John Stobart was a favorite artist of mine who had an outdoor painting show years ago on public broadcasting and I had the chance to meet him in southern Ohio at a gallery and he had said on his show to beginning artist that you have to practice and you have to try and you have to fail and he said that you shouldn't even be discouraged if you make a hundred bad paintings because your 101st painting may be the first one that's halfway decent. And then the next 100, you may have 20 or 30 that are keepers out of that. And so I've made many of those mistakes, and I joined the crowd of those who couldn't even draw a stick figure. But I've tried and tried. I've studied as many art books as I could get my hands on. And now in this great era of YouTube videos, there are just a number of places to turn for instruction and to learn how to do art and how to improve. And the, the point is never give up and try and try again. And uh, as you see, I finally hit it on this third one and am satisfied. But 
I still know that I can get better. And I really want to keep working at improving. And so I hope you enjoy watching the process and watching how I grow and progress painting by painting. But I'm not ashamed to show you the failures and where it didn't quite work. I hope what it does is encourage you to ignore that inner critic and go back to the inner child of those days in grade school when you loved to get out that box of crayons. You didn't care whether you colored inside the lines or not. Uh, skies didn't have to be blue. Cows didn't have to be black and white. They could be whatever you wanted. And there was no critic that gave you second thoughts or made you put it away or decided you didn't want to hear the negative comments anymore. So I hope you're inspired to try. And I recommend oil because you can cover up mistakes. Uh, as you saw, that first painting was such a failure, I just completely went over it in blue paint, covered the panel completely and started the second painting. Well, it failed too. And I decided to keep it because I wanted as a reference to show how I uh, had struggled on this portrait and now have ended up with uh, something here that, that I like. But I also know that I can continue to progress and improve. I've learned things with this painting that uh, I want to work on and improve and I'll tell you the one thing that I learned is with a, a child's face it's a very difficult portrait to do because the skin is so smooth and the light is kind of flat on, a, on smooth skin like that. There's not a whole lot of transition between dark and light, uh, the top of an eyebrow, the bottom of an eyebrow. The values are so close together and the variation in color and shadow is so subtle to learn how to mix paint and to get that to look right is a challenge that I need to continue to practice and continue to work on. I'm going to show you a faster version and go through all the rest of this painting to the end and uh, hope you enjoy watching and uh, thanks so much. Please subscribe. And also go to rogersnell.com and sign up for my newsletter. I would love to add to my list of those who get monthly updates of my progress and share tips and show you a beginning artist uh, or mid-level artist now who is still on this journey to improve and progress. Thanks again for watching.